Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And today is a Tag Tuesday video, but I also wanted to show you some stuff and I'm going to be using some stuff from these boxes. Um, I got uh, new boxes from Taperlogy and I got my piece and pages it's upside down sorry <laughs> my piece and pages um, subscription box so I want to go through that and show you what I got so the piece and pages box this one the theme was the berry box and I get the deluxe edition. Um, in addition to your book, which is a mystery, we will find out in a minute what it is, or a surprise. Uh, Lover's Paradise Bubble Bath, ooh, from the Bath Lab in Tennessee. Strawberries and Champagne Room and Linen Mist from Happy Scents in North Carolina. Hmm, that sounds very interesting. Strawberry Mini Cross Stitch Kit. Mmm. From the standard stitch stranded stitch in california and then chocolate raspberry cheesecake brownie mug cake well that's a mouthful uh from molly and you in iowa okay so ooh, at the very top the mug cake so it's got directions brownie single raspberry cheesecake hmm I will have to let my kiddos try this out because um, I'm staying away from sugar right now. <laughs> and I'm not that big of a raspberry fan, so meh, I'll let them try it. I bet it is delicious, though. Um, this is the Strawberries and Champagne Room and Linen Mist. Let's smell it here. Oh, that smells lovely. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that reminds me of a, oh, what does that remind me of? Some scent from long ago that reminds me of. Mmm, that's intriguing. And then this, look at how pretty this little bottle is, and it's sealed up really well. Um, the Bath Lab, this is the Bubble Bath. Lover's Paradise. Hmm. So some uh, really good self-care stuff this month and here is the mini cross stitch I have not done cross stitch in a long long time uh, cross stitch kit oh it look it's the little strawberry so in this cross stitch kit I know I've got viewers that are lovers of the cross stitch okay so we've got <laughs> don't lose your needle and it says by the way it's sharp <laughs> uh, you've got your little hoop you've got your thread and it tells you it gives you a little key as to what all your threads are and then you've got your cross stitch material hmm I might just have to be back into cross stitch little strawberry that's very cute. I've never seen a little mini kit like that. But I do have a friend that is really into cross stitch, so that might be going in the mail to her. That's an even better idea, I think. Okay, and then the book for this month. Ooh, I have heard about this one. I've never read this author, but I have heard about this book, and I am intrigued to to read this one. So, yes, I'm excited to read this month. Yay! <laughs> uh, a couple of months back, I was uh, a little disappointed, but this one I'm, I'm very excited about. Um, this might go on vacation with me. Uh, Under the Southern Sky is the name of it. And it is made by, let's say, published by Gallery Books. Christy Woodson Harvey is the author. And I will read the blurb. Uh, journalist Amelia Saxton never expected that the big story of her career would, be, would become deeply personal. 
But when she discovers that a cluster of frozen embryos, hear me out now, frozen embryos belong to her childhood friend Parker and his late wife Greer having been deemed abandoned, she's put in the inevitable position of telling Parker and dredging up old wounds in the process. Parker has been unable to move on, move forward since the loss of his wife three years earlier. He has all but forgotten about the embryos, but he knows that if he ever wants to get a part of Greer back, he'll need to accept his fate as a single father and find a surrogate. Parker and Amelia slowly begin to find solace in each other as they navigate an uncertain future against the background of pristine waters of their childhood home in Cape Carolina. Very interesting. The journey of self-discovery leads them to an unforgettable and life-changing lesson. Family, the one um, you're born into and the one you choose, I was just speaking about that yesterday in yesterday's video, is always closer than you think. From the next major voice uh, in Southern fiction, see, I'm, I'm a lover of a good Southern fiction. That's that's totally down my alley. Um, Under the Southern Sky is a fresh and unforgettable exploration of love, friendship, and the unbreakable ties that bind. I'm very excited about this book. Like I said, it's probably going on vacation with me. Yay! <laughs> very happy about that. This uh, month's Barry Fields um, book uh, box. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. From Peace and Pages is very good. I love it. I love it. Okay, not only did I get one box, I got two boxes from Taperlogy, so I'm very excited about that. Okay, I'm going to take everything out of this one. And go ahead and take everything out of this one as well. Oh, I can already tell I'm going to love it. Okay, so let's start off with this. We have, it looks like a little bits and bobs pack. Like I'm always putting together for the scoops videos. And the scoop participants. Okay, we've got fa fabric butterflies. I'm having a hard time with words today. What's going on? Okay, we've got some little florals. Oh yeah, this has got all kinds of, ooh, these applique flowers would be gorgeous in my Messy May journal. So some of those are gonna find their way into that journal. Look at that little applique butterfly, how pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous little bits and bobs pack. Love that. And yes, I have an affiliate link to Taperlogy and a 15% off code. It is me crafty 15 the number 15. And I will have all that in the description box below. A pack of tags. And the backer board is gorgeous. So pretty. It's floral tags, like botanical tags. Very pretty. I love that pack. They knew that I was into the tag making here Like, Look at here. Here's some more. Oh, these are neat. So I don't know if you can see that. It's got like cross hatches, hashes <laughs> or something. Something, you know, those those words that I can't say. So I've got cream and like a beige tan. Okay, so ivory cream and um, beige. Beautiful. Um, great little uh, blank canvases for something I've got an idea for now for Tag Tuesday. So those will stay out of their package. Yay! <laughs> These are... Some vintage, let me get all of this out so I can see what the wording says. Vintage flower stickers. So I won't get all of them out, but oh, look at those. How 
pretty. So they are kiss cuts and they've got the little adhesive on the back and they are vellum stickers. Those are gorgeous. Um, I'll have a link to, I said affiliate link, but that link will go to everything that came in my two boxes. Um, you'll find in that link, it'll take you to like my dashboard. So you can find my um, treasure trove that I got today and uh, you can shop my treasure trove. These are so pretty. Oh, I love those. And I'll have pictures of everything in that link so you'll be able to find everything. All right. What is this? The packaging is gorgeous. Junk journal, daily notes. You are the best. Let's see. You are the best for me. Thank you. Well, let's see. I got some more hemp twine, that's for sure. Oh, what is this? Oh. Okay, I've never seen anything like that. Okay, so you got this beautiful little charm. And the months of the year are printed out on mulberry paper. That is so pretty. I love that. Very nice. Creative juices. Artistic inspiration in a bottle just for you. Okay. <laughs> but that is very cute. I've never seen anything like that. All right. Broken flowers. And it just says material paper. Broken flower. Oh, that. It feels like drawing paper. Very pretty. Oh, wow. Look at all those blues. That's gorgeous and thick. Look at all of that paper. Mmm, love that. Okay, let's go with this one. It says. Oh, I don't know what it says. That's not in English. I don't I don't believe. It's not in Chinese either though. So it's I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's French. It's in beautiful wrapping, but it's not coming open, so I got to rip it. Okay. Okay, so it's labels. Look how pretty. And they're embossed, like they're raised up. Those are gorgeous. So looking forward to using some of those. Very pretty. Okay. Um, here's another one that says daily inspiration. Let's see what it is. Okay, it smells like coffee. I mean, immediately when I opened that package, I could smell the coffee. So we've got a beautiful little pearl, like teardrop charm there. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, my favorite thing yet. Oh, wow. It is coffee dyed trim. All in a little bundle. Oh my. That is so pretty. And so vintage. It's gorgeous, y'all. It's lots of it, too. And you can so smell the coffee. Oh my word. That's so pretty. Okay, I'm leaving that laid out. Just so y'all can admire it the whole time. I love the little addition of the pearl. That's cute. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, we've already went, we've already opened that. So I'm going to put that over here. We've already opened that. Okay, and then this is some mulberry paper and all kinds of other little papers that I can already tell I'm going to start collaging with.
spices and botanical roasted by hand. So these are dyed and made papers all by hand, it says. So yeah, and it's all in kind of a vintage style. Look at that straw paper, drawing paper, mulberry paper, handmade paper. Those are gorgeous. That's got the snowflake kind of finish to it. Very pretty. Let's open this up so you can see more than just that top one. Oh, I can still smell that coffee. Yum, yum, yum. All right. What is this little package? And with Taperlogy, I just, when they want to send me a box for me to show to y'all, I just tell them, you you pick it out. I don't, I don't want to pick it out. I want you to surprise me. And they do every time. <gasps> oh, this is fabric. Yay. I'm almost out of my muslin fabric, so this is much needed. And that's what it is, muslin fabric. Love it. They knew exactly what I needed. Have they been watching all of my all of my videos and they know what I'm out of? <laughs> oh, it's another one. Is it the exact same thing? Yes, it is. Yay! Okay, I'm going to save this one for last. I know what that is, and there's a bunch in there. Okay, they told me um, in my confirmation email that these were brand new in their shop, and it is rub-ons. I love me some rub-ons. Now, I know there are some artists that do not like rub-ons at all, but um, I can work with rub-ons quite easily. So I've never really had that big of a problem with them. So I'm looking forward to this. And they know me quite well, butterflies. So I've got butterfly rub-ons and then I've got floral rub-ons, my favorites. And it comes with the little popsicle stick for you. Look at those, how pretty. All kinds of florals. And I will demonstrate these let you see how I work with them. Very easy. Very, very easy. And then these, I've gotten these before, but I have never gotten these. That looks like hydrangea, right? Hydrangea. And then eucalyptus and some type of fern and then roses. But yeah, I've gotten these three before. And they're the Kiss Cut uh, transparent stickers, so they've got that um, sometimes uh, aggravating <laughs> adhesive on the back, but they're beautiful stickers. But I've never gotten those, that particular flower, so looking forward to that. And then, last but not least, this is, okay, it's got the same little label on it that that, um, that hat on it. Okay, got a little bit of cording there that I could use in something. I'm going to save that too. Animal print. Love animal print. And this is trims and it is packaged so well and I think these are called the eyelash trim. So I've got an idea to use these on tags too. Of course, that can be used on anything, but that's the colors that I got. Gorgeous. Ooh, that one's very pretty. That reminds me of those Sorry Silk rugs. That one's pretty. All right. So that was my Taper Lodgy haul. And like I said, I will be demonstrating some of these today. I got so many goodies. Yay. I'm excited about this. So let's start off with these little tags that they sent and um, get some tags for Tag Tuesday made. Okay, I moved some stuff over so that we can work on tags. I'm going to get some of this. I love that. I love how that looks. 
and have it hanging over just a little bit. So I'm going to get my scissors and go ahead and cut a little bit of this trim to use on this tag. So I'll have it lined up at the bottom just like that. And let's put on, oh, I like that. Let's just cover up the entire thing. I'm gonna get my glue. This is some collage paper that I had gotten from my Timu haul. And I just love how it looks. So we're gonna cover up a tag with it. And we'll figure out what else we want to put on it before we add on our eyelash trim. Oh yeah, I really like that. So that's some of that coffee dyed um, paper, I mean, coffee dyed trim. And then I put that um, trim there above it. I love that. So we're doing tags with texture. Lovely. And I think... Maybe I'll do one of these rub-ons right above this. Maybe like the flowers just kind of popping out from underneath. I love that idea. Let's do this one here. So I'm just trimming out the entire rub-on image with the back too. Okay. So there's one that I want to use. And let's go with another one that's maybe got two or three on it. Oh, I like this, like a combo of this and that. Let's do it. Okay, so before I put this trim down, I'm gonna take the backing and it'll just be a regular piece of, you know, kind of glossy on one side, matte on the other side. Take that off. And then you place this where you would like it. That's cute. And then same thing for this. Take the backing off. Try not to touch the back there. And I'll put that there and I'll get my little popsicle stick and I'm just holding it flat and rubbing across the image. And I'll just keep rubbing and keep rubbing until it looks a little opaque. And when it starts looking like that, you know that you have gotten the image to pull away from that transparent piece. So let's see, I have overlapped that, so I'm probably gonna have issue getting that entire image up. Okay, that looks good so far. And you can peel and peel and peel and then see, mm, Maybe some of that was left on there, so you can just lay it right back down and rub again. I need to pick this up. Yep, I overlapped. <laughs> so say I've got some on that one. I shouldn't have overlapped it like that. I should have done that one first and then laid this one down. Oh well, we're okay. So now I'm gonna pull up. See, I've got some that's still hanging on to the paper, so I'm gonna just Rub it down again. And pull up, lay back down, pull up, lay back down. Just to make sure that the image has fully transferred. And this one is giving me a little bit of a fit. And maybe that's my fault for, like I said, layering it on that other one because that one didn't give me any problem. This one's wanting to be a little ornery. There we go. We're good. We're good now. Okay, and then I will put on some fabric glue. Good little layer all the way across here. 
to hold down my two layers of trim that I want to put there. Okay, I'm going to put that one like that. And then these just right above that. And kind of push, push, push. We'll hold down and then pull across this one. There we go. Wasn't wanting to cooperate. I like that. I like the texture I'm getting. Beautiful. And then we can add something to the top here also. Trim off this one of those little florals from that bits and bobs pack that's cute and place it down with some fabric glue also I like that let's ink around the edges And I think I will use a little piece of this to make me a tab for the top. And just fold it over. Oh yeah, that's cute. And I think I'll staple that on after I ink it some. And that's nice and crinkly. I love that. Okay, staple. And a staple and maybe a little word phrase I'm all about word phrases here lately right below where I stapled cute so tags with texture that's what we're doing today with tag Tuesday um, let's get one of these darker ones and we don't have to cover up the entire thing. Let's get one of these little, oh, look at that paper. How pretty. Let's do a torn look, shall we? Oh, I really like that. Oh yes, that's very pretty. Let's use that. And I'm just going to glue on my base where I want this to go. Isn't that gorgeous paper? So pretty. I'm going to cut off the excess. And then I think I want to use this butterfly on this tag. So I'm going to trim that out and take the backer off. And then sit and fiddle with where I want to put this. Okay, rub it down good and then start rubbing on with the little stick and then try not to go over your transparent paper that it's stuck to because then you'll get something um, pulling up before it needs to okay and then you pick up and look and pick up and look and I think that's gonna be look it's beautiful Oh wow, that's so pretty. And they're such vibrant images too, those rub on. Gorgeousness. Okay, let's get some trim to add on to this one. I think I want to go this way with the trim. 
Ooh, that's pretty. That green is a little too, too, too much, though. Ooh, how about this white and purple? Not the same color purple. Ooh, what about this one? Oh, yeah, that goes with it. Okay, let's pull off some of this and see what we got. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Okay, let's line it up. And we're going to go up that way and hang off just a little bit on the bottom also. I'll wrap it back the right way. <laughs> okay, and put a line of glue, fabric glue. That trim is gorgeous. I love that. I think I need a little bit of stamping on this one. So I'm just going to get this script stamp that doesn't really have any kind of you can't really tell what it says. And I can't even remember where I got it from. Just a little bit. Yep, I like that. Just barely a little bit of stamping on there. And then I'm going to ink the edges of this one. And I will use this sunshine word and stamp on this little label just a um, cut apart from some paper I was using. And ink. And glue it down where I want it and then figure out what I want to do with the top of it. Oh, I love this texture we're getting on these. Too pretty. And we're using trim uh, in other ways than just putting it at the top of our tags. I like finding other ways to use items I have in my stash. And I have lots and lots of trim, but we can't have too much trim, right? Is that right? I don't know. I might be wrong about that. <laughs> when it starts overtaking, <laughs> there's that's when I could be wrong. Um, I want to use some of these um, retro vintage ladies on one of the next ones, but I got to figure out how I want to or what I want to do to the top of that one. Let's do a little skinny tab for the top of this one. It's like um, wrinkled up grocery bag paper. Don't know that I've ever seen anything like it, but I like it. Okay. And we will glue this one on. Pretty. Okay, let's use one of these and let's get out one of our little fashionista ladies this was some that I think mom got in a haul video and yet again I confiscated it I really like the one on top there she's cute oh yeah I like that Okay, so one of the little tabs or labels that I got from that stack and it 
is the ones that are embossed. I'm going to ink around this and glue it down in the middle of this tag and then ink around the lady and glue her down to the edge of this and get some glue added to her. Get her there right beside that. That's cute. It's like she's an advertisement. I'm going to put just a little extra something something on this one. One of these little bitty tiny butterflies. Take off the back paper. And where there is no embossing, I'll put that there. And then this trim kind of goes along with that butterfly there. It's not the exact same as that one. It doesn't have the little silver flick through it. So I think I'll do a little bit of that on that side. I'm just barely hanging off. And I think I'll twist this one up so it kind of looks braided, but it's just twisted around. So start it off and then just twist and twist and twist and then lay it down. and push it into that fabric glue. Oh, I like the way that looks. I like the twist. That's pretty. And then kind of flare out at the top and bottom. Oh, that's nice and different. Go ahead and ink. I will tell y'all, um, Brandon's grandmother, we call her Me Mama, she has been having some um, gastro issues, um, gastric issues, I guess you would say. Anyway, tummy issues. And she actually had to have surgery yesterday. And she's no spring chicken. She'll tell you that herself. She's almost 90 years old. And she came through it like a champ. We're so happy that she is feeling better. But um, she has a road ahead of her that it's going to be very difficult. Um, just imagine having to figure out a different way to, I'll just say it this way, go to the restroom than you've ever had to deal with before. You've never, never experienced what um, she's having to experience right now. So it's going to be something um, very different for her, but something that she's just going to have to... Um, figure out with with our help of course and um, not anything that any of us have ever had to do either so it's going to be very difficult so if you are a prayer warrior or believe in the power of prayer I would appreciate that for our family as we traverse through these uncharted and unknown waters and um, try our best to help her. Um, with Brandon's mother already uh, passed away two years ago, they were the ones that lived right beside her. Now she's gone and um, Brandon's dad is still around and his parents both have already passed. So he is available some, but he, he hasn't stopped working yet so he still works um, 
and me mama still lives alone so that's another thing we're gonna have to figure out as far as helping her and um, is she gonna be able to stay you know in her home or um, or we're gonna have to figure something else out and you know it's just uh, just some uncharted territory we're having to go through right now I think I'll try to do one of these smaller ones some book page and some trim some of this really wide trim so we're gonna cover it up really good but I think this is gonna be very pretty and very simple to do I really like that and then we put this toward the bottom I like that we can ink up this and go ahead and ink up the tag before we put all this on there and I'll cut off that excess so anyways I feel so, I feel so badly for her because I mean like I said this is just something out of the blue um, she started having the problems and um, her doctor was like it's it's went on for too long we we've, we've got to give her something that's um, going to be something she's never had to deal with and is probably going to be very foreign to her but um, we've got to get this taken care of they still have to do some um, testing um, because she does have an obstruction of some kind and you know they don't know if that is the big C word or not and um, so anyway we're praying that that all works out quickly for her and that whatever is the obstruction is something that can be taken care of easily I don't know the Lord does though and um, I shall not fear that's what I've been taught my entire life and I'm just going to cling to that okay that one was very simple like super duper simple and I think I'll put some kind of little word at the top here and then do some of that eyelash trim off the top here oh look at there never give up that's a good word that's a very good word okay and then what kind of trim toward the top I like this one let's see what comes off here and let's go with about that much and let's punch this hole. I'm not going to attempt a library knot. I'm just going to go through with one end and try to get all of that through. There we go. And then just tie a double knot. hard to tie knots and talk at the same time so <laughs> y'all just get to watch in silence there we go and pull up tight oh and I'm not going to trim off any of that too pretty tags with texture probably my favorite one so far and it's the most simple I love that I love it when a plan comes together <laughs> let's do one more why not um I love this somebody in the comments tell me what this um is this eyelet lace is that what that's called oh I remember this from my grandmother so much yep there's the front I think that's what that's called eyelet lace that's so pretty I love that there Let's get some of this um, paper here and use, ooh, 
that's pretty. Let's use some of that. Just a little torn line of it. I'm going to go straight across, put that in my scrap pile. And straight across there. Oh, I like that. I'm going to leave it just like that. But ink this, and then I'll cut off the excess. And then put that lace at the bottom. Like I did this one, but we're going two different ways with this. I'm going to let this one hang off the edge just a little bit. Mm. I know y'all can tell that the coffee dyed laces that I got was like my favorite of everything. Okay, put some fabric glue. And press that down. And then maybe another little rub on on this one. Maybe this little white and black butterfly here. That's nice. Show it to you in just a minute. Cutting off the excess. And getting that tag inked. Pretty. And let's add, let's just go ahead and do the same thing like we did this other small one and add some of this eyelash trim, fuzzy trim, to the top. Oh, what about this? I like that. Let's go with this dark. Okay. Wrap it back, wrap it back, wrap it back. And then... Then try to get just one side through. There we go. And then tie a double knot. So yeah, thinking about me mama and everything that she's going through, I've just not been that talkative. I've been very um, quiet and, you know, just reflecting and um, making sure family's okay. So... That's the reason for my quietness in this video. Now that one is cute. All right, tags with texture. We did good, y'all. From simple to more elaborate, lots of layers. We did good. I will get you a picture of all of these still shot at the end y'all have a great day thanks for sticking with me through my unboxing and then my little bit of talk and a <laughs> little bit of story time as they're calling it now on social media and um, y'all have a great day I'll see you in the next video God bless bye y'all